Hello there. Anonymous Prime here uh, with another video today. Um, this time we're going to be doing something a slightly tiny bit different uh, in that this will be a comparison video as opposed to a straightforward standard review. Um, so I just received in the post uh, courtesy of a raffle win actually, so go me. Um, this dude. Oh, I can look through here. Um, this is the second version of the unbranded KO MP44, which is a bit of a mouthful. Um, and because I already have version 1 and also already have MP44, um, I thought I'd do a little quick comparison view. Or rather, Simon thought I should do a little comparison video. Um, so let's kick things off. I haven't really even opened this dude yet because he literally sent up about an hour ago and I was eating. So let's get him out of this really noisy plastic container. Again, like the last version of the KO, which you've probably seen knocking about. Uh -huh. um, it doesn't come in a box. It comes just in a vac form plastic tray that would normally sit inside a box. Um, this was just packed in normal polystyrene. There's no outer box for it. That's, that's it. Uh, it's completely unbranded. There's no uh, uh, markings on it whatsoever of who was the culprit. Um, so yeah, there we go. Just a little bit of info. Um, so let's pop him out. He's, uh, oh, it's Optimus Prime. Ha <laughs> um, ha. So, at a cursory glance, it's another MP44. It looks very much like MP44. It has all of the hallmarks, but we'll go into some of the more details and comparisons in a few moments. Let's put this guy down here, have a quick look at the accessories. Again, exactly the same accessories that came with the last one. So two alternate heads. Uh, there's the sort of the, TV, the, the cartoon star one, the movie star one. Uh, the uh, battle damaged, I'm all a bit damaged, prime head, the Starscream head, his gun, a couple of blast effects, the uh, Starscream prong things, uh, his Energon axe, and uh, side swipes rocket pack, which he never seemed to give back. So that's an injustice on poor side swipe. Always, actually. That scene in uh, Arrival at Cybercon, or, or more than might say I, whatever, whatever you, you, you're used to it as, um, where he takes the rocket back, I've always thought that Sideswipe sounded really confused about having a, a rocket pack in the first place. Anyway, just me. Um, yep, guns exactly the same. Everything's pretty much exactly the same in terms of accessories. I don't even think the colours are even slightly different, but we'll have a more in-depth look at that in a moment. Okay, so here he is. Let's have a quick look. Now, some people are saying that they fixed the knee. Um, I'm going to be completely honest. I never did the knee fix on my original ones, so I'm not entirely certain exactly what the difference would be. So I'm not going to comment on that at all. However, leggy, leggy, movie, movie. And the ratchet on the knee, actually... It's quite smooth. I'll do a bit more of a com smooth. Uh, a bit more of a comparison of that in a second. Now, at a first glance, uh, the head is pretty much identical. Doesn't seem to be any changes really there. Although his ears seem to be a little bit closer, but that's probably just just new. Um, I haven't put any batteries in the voice chip yet, as you saw. I literally just got it out of the box. First difference here is uh, little 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 chevrons uh, are in yellow transparent plastic to be more tune accurate. Now here his Autobot symbol is missing. It's just a little blank shell, but he did come with, and I will probably fit it in a bit, a replacement. Oops, there you go. Uh, the, the 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 just fits on there, I assume. Um, not sure how I got that one off, but hey, we'll figure that out later. Second, obvious difference. He says, checking the other one. Uh, it comes installed with the uh, 
battle damage body piece which is quite convenient really because um, I intended to have uh, my KO uh, as battle damaged so to differentiate it from the original um, other than that I can't really see anything that's leaping out as as different so here we have the original KO just pop this dude down for a second oop I haven't quite got his leg straight so let's take his gun off because one thing I've never been able to get him to hold the gun very well it always just pops off but hey so a uh, little side by side comparison just means about legs so it's straighter Doesn't matter. Right, so side by side comparison in the light. Um, there's not a lot in it. The yellow looks a bit more orangey. Don't think that's just the light. Um, the mold's exactly the same, so even though I know it's probably just a trick of the light, one of them looks a little bit chunkier, but they're not, they're identical. Um, yeah. Uh, so colour there, colour on the, uh, the Sherman's on the arm, and the uh, obviously the Autobot symbol is different. I think actually the the new one is different again from this one. So let me just see if I can show you what I mean. Get this little jobby out. Jobby, jobby, jobby. Yeah, so it's actually quite a lot different because there you can see... Um, yeah, the this one is uh, red printed onto white plastic, whereas this one is uh, it's metal. Um, it's it's the whole thing's red, and there's like white outlines around the Autobot symbol rather than the background being white. Does that make sense? Yeah. Anyway, so it's different. Um, looks quite cool. I'll pop that on him when I figure out how to do that. Um, yeah. So again, the leg on this one, did you hear that? Oh yeah, Ooh, there's a bit of a nasty crack there. I think that's gonna break if I don't do the fix on that. Also the leg itself comes apart really easily on this thing. I've had that problem since I've got him. Right, you stay there. Let's just, yeah, there's no, there's no deep clack when you get too far. Good. I like that. Don't want a deep clack. Is that a thing? Who knows? Uh, right, so again, um, that's that's pretty much that. So let's just have a quick look at L Original. Here he is. One big difference. The plastic on the legs on the original as opposed to this one. Oh, that's actually pretty good. So the legs on the KO are matte as opposed to the legs on the original that I painted glossy plastic. So that's that's pretty that's pretty cool. It's quite I quite I quite quite like them being matte. And also I think the plastic on the legs themselves again this is a glossier colour and uh, is uh, uh, painted uh, whereas on the KO it is again uh, moulded. Um, Pop him down again. Last quick thing. So he has the the groovy spring-loaded uh, skirt. Yeah, let's go with skirt. Um, on that one, the original KO. Definitely does not. It doesn't ping back, or this one doesn't. It's actually gets stuck in there. It's actually a bit of a bit of a pain. Um, so uh, not really sure what this one is. <laughs> the opposite. I can't actually get the skirt to disappear in. It's 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 stopping on there. Whether this is a uh, yeah, I don't know what 
if that's a purposeful thing or whether it's just my one's a bit a bit stiff. Um, but yeah, let's seem to let's move that piece out. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So if you move the skirt out the side, that bit goes in. Um, <laughs> and now is 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 trapped inside and I'm having actual difficulties getting it out. So, uh, yay for original Takara, I suppose. Um, right, other than this, I just can't get, ah, sod it. Right, um, so, overall impressions. Um, it's not a huge difference. Uh, some slightly nicer paint apps, some slightly more G1 accurate paint apps, I suppose. Um, which it does have over the uh, uh, non-KO version because these being yellow and the ones on him, uh, the other one being red, I, I suppose. Uh, in the cartoon, I think quite often they're shown as being yellow. I don't think they're always shown as being yellow. And definitely a fair few of the versions of Prime I have do have them being yellow. That, that being stuck there has actually annoyed me. Um, but I can't get it to move. Forward. Ah, well, that's irritating. Um, <coughs> finally, well, I think that is it. Finally, it's not a lot of difference. There's a couple of cosmetic changes. I think the knees might be fixed. You can definitely, oh, definitely move them without too much hassle. That said. This knee is missing his ratchet. There's actually a piece missing from the inside. You can see on the back there, there's, as you can see, there's some blue little ratchet bits. And on this side, there are none. So maybe that was the fix. Take the ratchet off the left leg. Or the right leg. Right leg. Right leg. Yeah. So overall, it's pretty much the same as the other KO. If you have the other KO, you do not need this one unless you particularly want some yellow chevrons and a blast effect piece. If you have the original one, do you. Um, you probably spend a lot of money on it. I know I did. Um, obviously the big advantages over with the uh, uh, um, Takara version are it's official and it has all of the other accessories that do not come with uh, with the KA, most notably the trailer, um, and uh, the, the 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 downsides obviously are that it costs an absolute arm and a leg. This, I mean, this didn't cost me anything. This one cost me about eighty quid, I think it was. Might have been a bit less than that. I honestly can't remember. I was going to get it anyway, and uh, it was reasonably cheap. Um, yeah, definitely a ratchet missing on that one. Oh well, I suppose I should complain to the KO company's quality control. KO company's quality control. That's going to be a mouthful to manage. Right, well, uh, I'm going to draw this to a close because I haven't got anything else really to say. Uh, I could waffle on for another half an hour um, and I could transform them, but I don't want to. So I'm not going to. So I'm going to say goodbye. Goodbye to you. I have to do it that way.
on plastic. <laughs>